Happy birthday. At number 17, George you. Bryan from Missouri is about to get a very Happy special birthday, birthday surprise. Dear George. Oh, that's nice. Happy birthday to you. And for your birthday present, the gift of no eyebrows. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. But what caused this cake inferno? Time to get the blow down from our scientists. This fireball happened because of the powdered sugar that was layered all over the top of the cake. And this is because there's loads of energy locked up in the chemical bonds of the sugar molecules. It's pretty difficult to set fire to a sugar cube or even a pile of powdered sugar. The reason that this reaction is so explosive is because of the fact that the powdered sugar has been blown into the air. This means the powdered sugar now has a really big surface area that it's in contact with oxygen in the air, and it also comes into contact with the flames of the candle. Oh to get the big fireball we see in the video, we need one more factor. We need the sugar particles to be really close together so that when one ignites, it can catch its neighbor on fire, which can catch its neighbor on fire, and we get a chain reaction. And with the heat from the flame, boom! So in George's case, the chemistry was just the icing on the cake. 